Our next guest started in film, TV, and remote, location, remote locations, and now bringing the product to event meetings. World cost effective solution provided internet for broadcast of the Expo for Live that we're dealing with right now. Yeah. Please welcome the one and only Brandon Cooper. How you doing? Very good, yeah. man. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. yeah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks you for got, having me. You got my off camera look, the black hat yeah, and the, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the, the shirt glasses, <laughs> man, yeah. So how did you get your your foot in the in the in the icy cold waters of the event <laughs> and world of entertainment and sports here? Yeah, well, uh, I've spent the past 25 years enabling creative people to do great work, whether it was uh, supplying cameras and camera technology to them, um, you know, literally for commercials, series TV, feature films, uh, and we were doing that across Canada at a very high level. And while I was doing that, I was looking at the way that our industry moved live video and data, and they were really antiquated. For, a, for an industry in the film industry, uh, for an industry that, that is really forward thinking in terms of technology, cameras and things like that, they're really backwards sometimes in terms of workflow. So um, I started First Mile Technologies to try and change the way that, that we did that. And that was by bringing really high grade portable bandwidth tools to locations. A large majority of the, the film work that we do, particularly here in, in Canada, is based on the diversity of the locations that we have. There's, there are studios, but there are very few. Hollywood North. Right. And, but most of the work is, is in order to make Toronto look like different locales. And whether it's in the city or often in rural areas, um, crews are literally all over the place and rarely are they in a brick and mortar type scenario, right? But they need internet. They Do you need, have a mobile truck? Yeah. I, they, they need, they, they, their entire offices sometimes go mobile and they still need to be connected. These days, even more than before. Um, you're seeing all sorts of really interesting uh, applications for um, you know, communications. Call sheets aren't on paper anymore, it's all digital, right? And so when these shows go mobile, they still need to be connected to the outside world. So we started bringing portable bandwidth solutions, high grade portable bandwidth solutions to film and, and television production. And there's a really um, logical sort of parallel in the live events world. Um, oftentimes, uh, vendors of all kinds, when they're at shows like this, um, don't have access to the type of bandwidth, reliable Especially bandwidth. Especially upload, they need. more important than download. Upload yeah. is king. Upload right? is king, yeah. So, I've been asked as an AV supplier to do that, and I'm yeah. like, I need to talk to an expert. I'll, I'll get right back to you once I talk to our, our key expert. Yeah, but this is what we're doing. And so we're saying this um, you need bandwidth commensurate with your application or with your level of your production, right? Whether it be a show or whether it be, um, you know, an, an event like this, or say you're in a, you're doing a, an event of some kind or you're showing your product or uh, doing demos in a place that doesn't have a LAN connection, a hardwire connection, what do you do? So we're able to um, bring not only expertise, but also the hardware and the support for uh, a client to be able to have high grade, secure, and reliable internet connectivity no matter where they are, literally no matter where they are. We've done, uh, we've given really high bandwidth to productions and clients that are on the side of a glacier, in a provincial park, in a desert. Um, we're even working right now with a client who needs connectivity as a, in a journey across Antarctica. So there are ways for us to aggregate cellular networks, 4G, 5G, uh, satellite networks, traditional, so um, you know, KU band uh, satellite as well as low Earth orbit satellite, Starlink, blend them into one source to create a super connection so that you can do whatever you need to do at your location no matter where it is. Wow, it's like James Bond needs Q. <laughs> yes, to a degree. Uh -huh. and I do have a Q. I have yeah. a Q back at our, our data center that we build, a guy by the name of Peter Fairley. Absolutely incredible. And, and one of the things we do is we, we work with the, the client from conception uh, in terms of their planning so that we, we understand what they're trying to achieve so that we can build a solution that will give them the amount of bandwidth that they need. Um, we look at existing bandwidth sources and we blend those into, like I was saying, all the others to be able to make sure that we create a, a, a diverse path. So if one has a problem, the others are there to Redundancy. back it up. Yeah, or we just blend them all together, right? So it's been, uh, it's been a really interesting journey. We're seeing more and more that people expect to be connected no matter where they go. 
It's, it's imperative. In, Digital in entitlement. Instances. It's there. Our phones are great, but the antenna in a phone is only good enough for a phone call and, and some light web use. There are times when you go into a location where you can't even get a phone call out. We're able to scrape up uh, enough bandwidth to be able to give you the ability to do some pretty amazing things oh, in a place where you think it's a total dead zone. So, um, yeah, this is kind of this is what this, there's a lot of different things we can do with that bandwidth, but the key is getting it there for you and for us to take care of it. So if if you if you need it, you make one phone call. We'll gather the information for you and then take care of it for you. So it's something you don't have to worry about. It's like o digital oxygen in these. Yes. I yes, like that's a great from, way of putting it. From, uh, from dealing with sound systems, uh, you know, I'm always recommending people it's better to double the horsepower of the engine and not need it than the other way around. Do you, do you find you're constantly like, there's what you think they might need and then just doubling it so that you have that, you said bandwidth. I'm yeah. thinking headroom on a, yeah. on a sound system. You've got the power if you need it. It's always better to have that. For example, today, uh, we came in yesterday and did some pre-testing just in, in the environment to see what we could get. Mm -hmm. Totally independent of any other, any internet here. Um, and we did a test. We were able to get uh, 230 down and about 80 up. That far surpassed what the needs were here today, but we know we've got it. So in the event that anyone else needed to jump onto that or that the, um, you know, if there was an issue with, say, one carrier, whatever it might be, we know we have surplus. And it's always better to have surplus because you won't always need it, but if you do, it's there. Do you find, like, when, when the room gets really busy and there's, like, a 500 or 1,000 people in there with their cell phones that you're yeah. this bandwidth drops? Like, you don't need it until you totally need it and then yeah. it's not there now? There can be. It, it is one of the key things about events like this is congestion. There's a lot of times where you go into a venue, um, whether it's... Uh, whether it's an outdoor venue or, or whether it's someplace like here. And the infrastructure is set up for a certain amount of people, typically not as many as you will have in an event like this. And when people come in with their phones, all of a sudden that infrastructure sags underneath it. And so we've got tools, high gain antennas and things of that nature that give us a much higher gain, much higher sensitivity. And we also have priority on cell towers with the SIMs that we use. Um, they're just under uh, military and, and public safety. So we have higher access on the cell tower, higher, higher priority access, and we just have better tools. So we're able to keep above that congestion. I need you and they keep requesting these songs that came out two seconds ago and I'm like trying to hit my record pool online to download a hundred megabyte video file. So you do a lot of DJing? A lot of DJing oh, and great. video DJing too. So I've yes. just bought a Mac, new MacBook Pro because I need to DJ, but DJ at very high, you know, like, and then now Stems is this new thing right, in software. Yes, yes. So it'll basically make four copies of the songs. So you can have vocals, chords, right. beats, can break it up separated, but then the demands on the computer are astronomical compared to just audio DJing. And more bandwidth. So more bandwidth. in a case like that we could give you what we call a commander gateway it's literally a pelican case you open it up all the stuff that we have is plug and play and it's all monitored remotely so we're we have somebody that's passively watching your bandwidth level if there's an issue or if we see a problem then we'll make a call to you quickly um, to talk about what's going on and then we can make adjustments on the back end um, you know it's really simple one person can use it in the field and, and it doesn't even have to be somebody who's technically astute at all it's open it up, put the antennas on, turn it on, wait for it to configure, which takes about a minute, and then you have all the bandwidth you need. Just plug in a LAN connection or access the wireless uh, network and... So you don't go. necessarily need a technician there? No. no, no, you don't at all. So what's a window of investment to get started to make sure you've got secure internet for uploading at your events? Well, typically for us, we're rental. So, um, you know, we could sit down and put together a package for you, uh, depending on, on the length of your, your uh, event or show, the price will be determined largely by that. But um, it's a rental cost for the hardware, which is nominal, and then it's more the data package. We'll get a, a, try to get an estimate of what kind of data you need. The more data you use, the cheaper it gets. Um, and so it's a real departure from your typical internet provider uh, in the live event space, which are usually a flat fee, but exorbitant. So we're trying to, to democratize that a little bit more and give people the ability to be able to use it the same way, no matter if they're in a brick and mortar space or if they're out in a field. Is there any blind spots you keep having to educating clients over and over with of things that they're missing that they should consider? 
I mean, I think it's, it, yeah, I think it's just always, always a, a good idea to try to figure out how many people you're going to have in the area just because of congestion. But other than that, largely, it's just a matter of looking at your location beforehand and doing a bit of prep work. One thing that we, that we do ask for people is, let's talk about this early rather than have it be an afterthought and then you have to scramble. We can, we can help you that way, but it's always better if we're earlier in the conversation than later. Do you, do you find that the content has to get dithered down, like from like 1080 to 720 or anything like that? To no, I mean, you know, we do... Um, like HD streaming and everything as high yeah, as it goes? Yeah, like go as far as, as high as more, you Moore's want, Law, just doubling and doubling forever? with us. We do stuff with people with, um, you know, 720p encoders all the way up to uh, people who are streaming full res um, 360 VR footage. Oh, so, wow, okay. I mean, it can be anywhere from 2 megabits per second to 20. Uh, it really depends on what your needs are. So, like, you go back to like Vic Twenty, Commodore sixty four days, or like? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shave all the gray off, so I'll get <laughs> carded for alcohol, That's not a senior's hat, discount, man. but <laughs> yeah. yeah. A hat and a backpack will help me get carded <laughs> once in a while. I, c I couldn't even grow half a beard. You could, but yeah, this was a COVID project. So, so what was your first computer? My you first got computer an Atari ten forty ST or something. It was probably a Vic Twenty. Yeah. Um, yeah, Vic Twenty, Atari twenty six hundred. You know, that's, you know, yeah, 73. I don't mind dating myself. I was yeah, I got a, you got a so, year on me, two yeah, years ago. You know, so, yeah, we're, we're in that wheelhouse. Yeah. It's the best place to be. We have perspective on all this technology. It's really interesting. Yeah, I was chopping up audio tape, like, with X-Acto blades and learning on the reels and then yeah, the yeah, turntables yeah. and then... Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, so before we leave, you have to... Do you stream on Twitch? I did, yeah. It kept me... Fed my family through COVID. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was doing the same. I had a... I had a uh, DJ show every Friday night with a buddy of mine. We would get on together. One, he played one record, I play another. Oh, Once fine. Again, it would come. The, the bandwidth that I had came in handy a lot of times too, especially during that high demand period. So. Oh, I learned so much. Like I used to be a boom operator on set, so I felt oh, really? like I, okay. I felt like I should file a union grievance for stealing twelve people's jobs, <laughs> like lighting and camera and sound and doing it all. Stand up and scriptwriter and. Well, look, Hair I, makeup and <laughs> I think for us, you can also be an expert in connectivity without having to be an expert in connectivity. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if people need to be connected, which they almost always do, then all they have to do is make one phone call, send one email, um, and we're there to help. Yeah. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you, Brandon. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to hear your take on stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. the opportunity. This is your first time out to CSC Live? First time here, and uh, this is really brilliant. A fantastic venue, of course, but it's really well done. It's been put on. I've been very impressed. So, yeah, yeah. really great to be a part of it. Right on. Well, yeah. great to meet you. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate okay. it. Enjoy the day. Okay, you too.